Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I've got some battery life saving tips that you can use with your iOS 7 devices. I'm going to be using the iPhone 5S for this example, but a lot of these tips will transfer over to your other devices as long as you're running iOS 7. Now I strongly recommend you watch this video all the way to the end because if these tips don't correct your battery life issues, I've got some suggestions that might save you a trip to the Apple Store. All right, so what I'm gonna to try to do here is give you the most practical ways you can save battery life with your iPhone without losing out on too many of the cool features. So we'll start with a basic one and that's Bluetooth. So we'll open up the control center here and you can see this is the Bluetooth setting. Now, a lot of us do use Bluetooth devices and that's fine, but when you're not using them, it's a good practice just to turn this off so it's not constantly running and draining your battery. Another feature that we use a lot is located in the settings application and it is the Wi-Fi connection. Now obviously we do use this a lot to save on data costs, but when you're not using it, if you're on the go or on the road, it's going to be constantly searching for different networks to connect to. So by turning it off, you eliminate this process in turn saving battery life. Now if you can't turn it off because you do need to connect to various areas constantly, try selecting the ask to join network. This way it's not constantly connecting to the networks, it'll ask you to join various networks, unless you have them set up automatically, then it'll only connect to the ones that you've already selected to join. Now, continuing with the settings application here, if you go to the wallpapers and brightness section and tap on wallpapers, there's a section here called dynamic wallpapers, and this was implemented within iOS 7. And what these do is actually give you a wallpaper that moves around. So if you have this enabled and you're using this, it's a good practice to turn it off because that will drain your battery quite a bit because it is constantly running in the background. What you can do is select a still wallpaper or even select one from your photo stream. A new feature that was added into iOS 7 was the parallax effect where the background sort of moved with the applications. Now a lot of people didn't like this but also it drains the battery a little bit. So if we go into the general section here and then tap on accessibility, scroll down to reduce motion, you'll see that we'll be able to toggle this on and off. By turning it on, it will reduce the motion and actually turn off that parallax effect in turn saving you battery life and an annoyance if you don't like it. One feature that we have total control over is the brightness and it's located in the brightness and wallpaper section here. And I see a lot of people with their brightness way up and it doesn't need to be. You can still get a pleasant viewing experience having it a little bit dimmer or failing that you can actually select the auto brightness and it'll determine the best brightness for the setting you're in. A new feature that was added into iOS 7 was an automatic update feature and it's located in the iTunes and App Store section. So as you can see right here, it says automatic downloads and it's got music apps and updates. So if we turn these off, it'll only update when you select to update. So when you go into the app store and then tap the updates on your own time. Now this will save you battery life because sometimes if your battery is not very strong and you're downloading or updating a whole bunch of applications, you'll notice you'll drop 10% in no time at all. Also a quick side note, if you do choose to update automatically and have these selected, make sure that you're not using your cellular data unless you have a good data plan. Otherwise, this is going to burn through your data really quickly. The next tip involves notification center and actually involves our applications that we include. Now, when we download new applications, we sometimes just click yes on the prompts. And one of them is, do you want to allow it to use push notifications? Now, some applications like Twitter and messaging apps like Skype and your message application, those are fine to use for push so you can get the notification that you got a message. But for stuff like Candy Crush here, just a basic game, you don't really need a push notification on this draining your battery and constantly looking for an update and things like that so turning it off like this going back will then move it to the do not include section the cellular tab in the settings application has an effect on our battery life as well, particularly the LTE feature. Now, if you don't have LTE in your area, you want to turn this off because you don't need it searching for those towers. Now, if you do have an LTE signal, but it's not constant and you kind of notice it going from 3G to LTE to weak LTE signal to three bars and it keeps moving around, this is going to drain the battery. So if you notice this happens a lot in certain areas, go ahead and turn it off. Maybe it's in your office or at home. So just have it turn off in those areas and it'll save you some battery life. 
The next tip involves our location services. So we need to go into privacy, then location services, and then you can see all the different applications that can or are using your location services. So if you're using too many or you notice that some applications you don't need the location services running on, like my pizza app and maybe Kijiji, you can just swipe to turn them off and in turn you'll save some battery life. A new feature that was added to iOS 7 was the background app refresh and it's located in the general tab and then background app refresh. Now what this does is refresh the applications in the background so that as soon as you open it, you've got the latest content. Now this isn't really needed because when you open the applications in general, they'll update for you automatically. Now if you do have to keep this on, only select the applications you really need or really want to have refreshing constantly. Otherwise just turn the whole thing off and it'll save you some battery. The next tip involves our mail applications. So we'll go to mail, contacts, and calendars. We'll then tap on fetch new data. And in this section, you can turn push on and off. Now, depending on how important your emails are, you might wanna leave this on, but having it off will save you some battery life. The next tip involves the personal hotspot, and this is a pretty common tip here. If you're using it and you have it enabled with another device, don't forget to disconnect it when you've turned it off. One feature that gets overlooked is the spotlight feature, and it's located in the general tab and then spotlight search. Now, when you traditionally do a search, it's gonna search through all the different files and folders. And if you don't really search for music or some podcasts and things like that, you can go ahead and click those off. That way it doesn't have to search through those files to find what you're looking for. Now let's take a look at a couple of settings within Siri. So we'll go into general, then Siri. And first off, you've got the Siri toggle switch will allow you to turn Siri on and off. Now, if you don't use Siri, just turn it off because that does drain the battery life having Siri running. Another feature here is the raise to speak. And I'm not sure how this drains the battery, but everybody says turning this off will save you battery life. So go ahead and do that. And if you don't use Siri again, make sure you turn it off. Another feature here that can help with battery life is in the general tab and then the auto lock section here. Now setting it to auto lock within one minute to five minutes is a good practice. This way, if you accidentally leave the screen on, it'll turn off automatically. Leaving the screen on drains the battery quite a bit, especially if you have the brightness very bright. So having this as a backup is a great way to save your battery. Now, if you've gone through all or some of these settings and you're still noticing bad battery life, there's a few things you should keep in mind and you can try. First off, restoring your iPhone. This sometimes Sometimes helps it sometimes fixes the problem but not always also there's a setting if you go to general and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap on reset here if you reset all the settings or reset the network settings this sometimes helps the problem as well now Apple does advise that you go through a full charge cycle at least once a month and this means charging your phone to hundred percent and then letting it drain out completely I'm not sure how this helps a battery but it does and also keep in mind if you use your phone a lot in the car and you leave it on a seat and you're in in a hot area, heat deteriorates batteries. So leaving it in the car or in a glove compartment over a long period of time, it can overheat and burn out the battery quicker. Also try powering down your device. If you've had battery issues, a complete power down. Also make sure that your applications are constantly being refreshed. So closing your open ones regularly will help. Another thing to try is a reset. So you just basically hold the home and the power button down together until it resets itself. Anyway, I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. Also leave a comment if you have a battery life saving tip that I missed, it'll help out everybody watching. Also, if you like what you see here, I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about tech, news, tutorials, tips, tricks on all kinds of devices like the iPhone, Android devices, Playstations, everything. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button and it'll let you know when I post a new video. If you have any questions, let me know either in the comments down below on my Google Plus or on Twitter, and I will see you in the next one.